Greetings YouTube, Simon here and welcome to a World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth 8.2.5 guide. And today I'm going to be explaining how you can unlock the Honeyback Hive Reputation Faction. I've seen there's quite a bit of confusion about this over on the internet. And this isn't the PTR, this is the live server, so this won't be changing regardless of when you watch this video. Now there are a couple of prerequisites for this. First off, you do need to have a Bumblebee pet. Uh, however, despite popular opinion, you do not require the Bumble's pet that requires a seven day farm. As a matter of fact, I'm using the Seabreeze Bumblebee, which you can simply purchase from Sister Liliana, the Storm's Wake Emissary, over at Benny Dam and she will sell that pet for you. It's the pair of bee wings for 250 polished pet charms. If you don't have the pet charms or if you don't want to spend them on this pet, you can also go for that Bumble's uh, pet. But as I say, that is a seven day farm. Plenty of guides on the internet explaining how to get that. I won't go into it here. Regardless whether you get Bumbles or the Seabreeze Bumblebee, you're ready to move on. Now, I mentioned there's a couple of prerequisites. The second isn't actually a true prerequisite, but it's something I strongly recommend, and that is the add-on TomTom. So many of you are probably using this already, but if not, I'll leave a link to it down in the video description. This gives you accurate coordinates uh, to the decimal points and also allows you to put waypoints in on your map so that you can reach them easily. So again, check that out if you need to download it. Okay, without any further ado, let's move on to the actual unlock quest. Now, I've just switched over to an alt since I have already unlocked this on my main, and that actually reminds me of something really important I need to mention. This faction is only available to Alliance, not to Horde, okay? So now, the Horde mount, the Horde exclusive faction that gives you, or not faction, but quests that gives you the flying dinosaur thing, you can actually use that mount on Alliance characters once you've unlocked it with a Horde character. So I'm interested in knowing if the Bumblebee mount, once you've got it unlocked with an Alliance character, will be available to Horde players. If you know the answer to that, please do share in the comments. Anyhow, once you've got your pet make sure it isn't summoned and head over to the Midden Hall Midri and then you're going to want to input the following coordinates using TomTom Tom. and I'll make sure to copy these coordinates down into the video description so that you guys can just paste them directly into your game if you're using the add-on and that'll put a nice handy waypoint arrow up on the screen for you but just to show you where I am in case you're not using coordinates we're around here on the map. Now Barry, the NPC, will be over here present, but he will not want to talk to you until you have that pet out. So we can go ahead and summon that now. And your pet will fly over to this bush and Barry will take note of that and that will cause this green puddle to appear on the floor. And then he tells us that we are to follow our pet and that leads us to the next destination that we're going to be heading to. Now you can do it the hard way and just follow these green trails all the way. It is quite a, quite a fly or you can just go exactly where I'm going to go now. And what you want to do then is fly over to this area here near Sagehold and you can use the following coordinates if need be. And this will take you directly to the hive which is located here and once we go ahead and present ourselves a little event should take place beginning with this loud buzzing sound that occurs as we approach and lo and behold Barry the beekeeper is also present and here we have the queen the honeyback hive mother who is not particularly enthralled by our arrival at her nest so we need to find something to appease her and this is a bit of a nuisance, this next bit, because we need to find a little bit of jelly, but it's only very small. Now, what we need to do is make our way over to the jelly deposit, which is just a little bit further down by the water. I'll give you the coordinates in case you wish to use those. Um, again, all of those can be pasted for you. Uh, will be copied for you in the video description, so you can paste them in. And just amongst the flowers here, I'll show you where that is on the map, just here you can find the jelly deposit. As I say, it is quite hard to find. And that will give us a thin jelly. Interestingly, those jellies are also going to be the reputation item that we will be handing in for seven rep a time once we finally unlock the faction. Yes, seven rep, not a lot. You're gonna to need to farm a lot of them. Uh, anyhow, what we're going to do is actually approach the bee at this point and offer the thin jelly. Thank you. 
and it seems that uh, the B wasn't particularly happy with that offering. So once again, we're going to speak to Barry at this point. And Barry's going to try the more obvious method of communicating with bees, doing the bee dance, of course. Yep, seems to have done the trick. I'll have to remember that next time I'm being chased by them. Eventually, Barry is going to move inside the nest, and all we need to do at this point is follow him. And you can see that there is this bee and trapped in the honey amber here. Uh, we can actually speak with that, maybe not just yet, but you can actually see that we have the reputation bar present, and this is where we're gonna hand in our reputation items that we go ahead and collect. So now pretty much we need to farm for reputation items, which are the same as those jellies that we were collecting, uh, that we collected a few moments ago. But just before we do that, make sure we speak to Barry one last time here. We can go through some more dialogue with him and then feed this uh, bee that little bit of jelly, which we still have on us, actually. Uh, that gives us our first 20 reputation. And I don't believe that the reputation gets added. Oh, no, there it is. Yep, so we have the reputation, which we can stick out down as an experience bar if we want to keep track of it easily. And that's pretty much it. The Honeyback Hive has now been unlocked, so we can fly around collecting all of the jellies. From what I've seen, I haven't done this grind yet myself, people are saying you can pretty much have the bee mount unlocked within 24 hours, but obviously that's going to require much of your day uh, playing WoW, well, flying around, and being quite lucky with the jelly spawns. Now, unfortunately, jelly spawns are shared amongst all the players in the area, so it's not like mining nodes or herbalism where you can pick your own. Everybody is going to be uh, competing for the same jelly nodes. Just bear that in mind, during busy periods, there's going to be a lot less of them. Anyway, guys, that's how you unlock the faction. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, don't forget to drop a like. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.